But if look at the seed of a banyan tree. You have seen a banyan tree seed? Fruits you have seen? Small fruits, right? Uh, very small. Very small. This strawberry kind of thing, you know, size of that. And the seed of that? It's smaller than the mustard, right? Yes. Now you can see, this smaller than the mustard seed is getting converted into a huge banyan tree over one acre, almost two acres of land. What is the ratio? More than one, uh, one million. <laughs> right? One billion, or one million, huh? Yeah. Such a big ratio. You have done anything for it? No. Anybody has done anything for it? Nothing. It is by way of coexistence. This is all happening anyway. Right? You only have to learn to appreciate, understand it. But we don't appreciate it. We never think that such a great happening is taking place. Right? By way of coexistence. You appreciated it ever? Same thing with your body. I said your body is made of innumerable number of atoms, right? By way of coexistence. Do you appreciate it? <coughs> it is happening. It is happening by way of this panic order, right? So, it has existence, it has growth, right? It has this activity of respiration, right? It is continuing by way of seed. All this is by way of coexistence. So the whole thing is a living, organic, uh, vibrating, dynamic <coughs> organism. Yeah. In that case, can the unit be destroyed forever without any trace? That is what I am saying. It cannot be destroyed without any trace. Right? All that you can do is convert into a smaller unit or bigger unit. And that is all that is happening. So when the earth, when this, this big tree is taking shape, it is not that it is coming out of nowhere. The soil, the water, the air, you know, the sun energy is all getting converted into the plant. Right? And when you are burning this wood of this tree, then it is converting back into the you know, soil, back into the air, you know, back into the energy, heat, all this back again. So it's not that it is coming out of nowhere. It is not that it is going nowhere. It is coming out of this basic coexistence, that is unit submerged in the space. And going back to this, only thing that is happening is smaller units, bigger units. What else is happening? One type of unit, other type of unit. So basically, this you know, shift or transition from one type of the unit to another type of unit is taking place. And this transition is taking place by the rule of this coexistence. This, uh, like the, small, uh, the smallest unit has been found uh, uh, recently by the scientists. So this smallest unit is what we call a uh, like you know constant particle, quad particle. So like uh, maybe like you know uh, is there any existence and then quad particle is there? Any relation? I mean, if you look at it in terms of definite order, then the smallest particle with a definite order is atom. If you break the atom, you come up with the you smaller units, right? Which are part of the atom. But they have no definite order. They are always in an excited state. When you study the atom, there is a definite conduct, definite character. Therefore you can understand, you know, study this atom and you know say something with definiteness about this atom. The moment you break the atom, the subatomic particles are no more in a definite order. They are in an excited state. Right? Now if you try to study this 
subatomic particle. You cannot make any definite, you know, understanding about them because they are in this excited state. What happens if the subatomic particles go and make, you know, form the atom in coexistence with other subatomic particles? So even at the level of units, right, this coexistence is there. So more than one subatomic particle come together to form the atom which has a definite conduct and therefore it can be studied <coughs> with definiteness. If you go to any order lower than this, it is always in an excited state. <coughs> now when you are trying to study something in an excited state, right, no definite conclusion can be reached. So every time you try to study, you get some new information. Right? And that is why no definite study has been made into some atomic particle because it cannot be made. Right? So the minimum size, or smallest unit that is there which can be studied right, properly is the atom. Now, what they are trying to do is to try to go to some atomic particle. So, it is in an excited state. Right? And you cannot make any systematic prediction about this excited state. So, every time this number of some atomic <coughs> particle is increasing. Right? And you are not getting any definite conclusion out of it. And that is what is happening. Yeah. Guruji, regarding this feeling of prosperity, how to practice this feeling of prosperity in continuum? Because what I felt in these last two, three days, as long as we are in contact with mobile tower like you here, things are fine. As long as you go out, and then again that physical happiness things again regenerate to the mind. And it creates disturbance. So, what should be the method of practice? Yeah, I'll come back to this. Let me complete this uh, you know, question of uh, Amirji. This is regarding then God, you know. <laughs> that, that who has created the first. Yes, very <coughs> point, point. So, I said, once the whole existence can be understood in terms of the coexistence. Right? Now, this idea that somebody has created this, okay, and not is this, that it is there by way of coexistence. So, if you put in this idea, that somebody has created, okay? Then next time you'll have to ask who has created it. <laughs> then you'll say, no, no, it is there, right? So if you have to accept that it is there one step after, okay? We can start with this, you know, right here, rather than putting in one rider here. And then when you ask about the rider, you say, no, no, that is there. So, it is better to start here only. And it is there. And this can be understood by Ishwana of us. Right? And you can also see this, that you don't need anybody to sit on your head to put you in order. Right? You don't need anybody to sit on the head of these trees and plants, right? To put them in order. <coughs> they are in order by virtue of this coexistence. And I also have to understand this order, this coexistence and be in coexistence by virtue of my understanding of the coexistence. So nobody is required on me, you know, for me to sit on my head and tell me what to do and not, what not to do. Okay. If I have this right understanding and right feeling in me or understanding of the coexistence and living in coexistence, this feeling of coexistence, then I believe in coexistence. So what do you think? This is better that I do it out of my understanding. Or somebody else is sitting on your head and telling you to do like this. What is natural? But what is happening is that we have not understood this coexistence and we are not living in coexistence. Therefore, we are creating problem for ourselves and creating problem for others. Now somebody comes and sits on us head and says, please don't do this. And we start obeying him. So what is natural for you? To do this or not do this 
and somebody sitting on your head, right? With a big, you know, sword in hand or a big danda in hand, you know, and telling you, do this, otherwise I will hit you. Right? Which is better? So the underlying rule of existence is coexistence. Right? All that I need to do is to understand this coexistence, this underlying rule of coexistence and live in this coexistence. When I am not doing it, I need somebody to sit on my head as king, right? as the you know, prime minister or as such, you know, such thing. You know. And finally somebody like God to sit on my head and tell me what to do, what not to do. Now come back to just before you go. That is a one one more question from me. When you say the word energize, is it unit is good energy, correct? Unit in coexistence with space is energized. So you cannot separate these two, the space and the unit. They are in coexistence. <coughs> and they are energized, you know, this unit is energized in space. Now, normally what we are looking at energy, you know, is this excited state. When something gets excited and some impact of it is seen in the other units, you think that this unit is energized. We are not used to see this activity which is taking place in the unit, in the normal state. So when I am saying energized, right, it includes this normal, you know, state of energy, which may sometimes give rise to excited state also. For example, if you look at the wood, for example, right, the wood is energized, right, in a space. So there is a lot of activity taking place in the wood. Now you put it on fire, then some excited, you know, state is generated which is seen as heat, which is also felt by you as heat. Now you think it is energy. Okay. But it is energized even otherwise. So, you know, I keep telling this, that somebody was telling that, look, you know, Newton was so great, that while he was sitting beneath the tree of the apple, and an apple found, fell down, right? It immediately flashed him, you know, this question, that how did, you know, why did this apple fell from the you know, tree on the ground? Why didn't it go up? Right. That was the question. Right? And so he came up with this answer of natural pull of the earth, right? the gravitation, gravitation. So, so great. I said, see, it is still looking at one level, right? This idea I struck to him that how did this apple come down? <coughs> But it did not struck to him that how did this apple go up? <laughs> it, it was not there, right? To begin with, the tree was there, apple was not there, right? <coughs> the apple reached there. <laughs> it is only half of the question, you know, process. That the apple has fall down from the tree to the ground. The other half, and which is more complicated, is that the soil has come up to the apple, right? On the top of the tree. <laughs> <laughs> now, you don't think that is, not, that is not something happening, right? So much of activity is taking place, whereby the soil is converted into the sap of the tree, right? The sap of the tree is going up to every minute cell of the tree, right? Then it is getting converted into the flower, right? Then it is getting converted into a small, you know, fruit. Then it is, you know, getting nurtured, that fruit. And finally it is becoming a ripe apple. When it becomes a ripe apple, it comes back to the soil. That is the whole process. So starting from the soil, right? Going through the sap of the tree <coughs> to the apple, and then apple coming back to the soil, 
and getting converted into soil. This is the total process. Right? The Newton did not take note of it. Revolution. <laughs> Never thought this way. Now this whole thing has to be understood. And this process is far more complicated. But this gross process of the apple falling down from you know tree to the ground, you could see. And that is what we are used to see nowadays, right? <laughs> but this very sophisticated process by which this soil is going back to the apple. All this is energized, right? This atom, this soil, the sap of the tree, right? the flower of the apple, the fruit of the apple, right? Growing, all this is happening by way of this. Such a big phenomena taking place and we don't take note of it. So that is the level at which we have to now start appreciating it. Then you will see so much of phenomena, right? For example, this big forest, right? All this is happening, right, in this forest. We look at them as good, good you know. Not as this big phenomena taking place. You look at this forest as a piece of wood, right? To cut and to make some sofa, or to burn it and get some heat. Right? <laughs> But such a big phenomena is taking place, right? How? By way of coexistence. So much of folding, so much of unfolding, right? Such huge trees, you know, 3,000, 300 feet tall trees. By virtue of this, So slowly we have to learn to appreciate all this great, you know, by love, the great kind of glory of this coexistence. So we think energized only when we get some energy of the kind, right, which has a very gross influence on us. Other things we don't take note of. So when you burn, burn this wood and you get that heat, you know, which is an excited state, you think you are getting some energy. But when such a huge phenomena is taking place, the seed and the soil getting converted into this banyan tree and coming back as seed and this soil, and this is all happening, right? So much of it. So if you start appreciating this, you will see the interconnections, right? Everything is connected to everything else. And if you disturb any of this process, right, <coughs> you might create heaven. And that is what we are doing. We are disturbing any number of this process because we don't even are aware of it. Professor, I have two questions. Uh, Question, uh, my first question is, uh, uh, my first question is, uh, 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 we are saying that a uh, human being uh, has to remain in coexistence uh, with the uh, uh, three orders, but uh, is that coexistence uh, uh, necessary only <coughs> in, uh, while uh, our body is there, or will continue uh, after uh, after after the decay of our body? And my next question is: uh, If uh, if for example, if I uh, I I am I uh, attain realization uh, with this body now, uh, because uh, realization. A, we get realization through right understanding. So, if I attain realization with this body now, does that mean that uh, because uh, I because of right uh, right uh, nourishment and protection, I can protect this body forever? 
You see this, what has happened till now is that we are used to getting this either from reconditioning or for, from sensation. So if you think that I have started feeling this sense of prosperity by virtue of being in this you know, environment for the last seven days, then it is again another set of preconditioning. Right? So that is uh, the uh, point. But if you have understood by way of your self exploration that the need of the self is happiness, which is fulfilled by right understanding and right feeling, and need of the body is in terms of physical facility. And in that sense, if you identify this need of physical facility, then it is required in a limited quantity. If you are able to understand this, right, then this feeling of prosperity will de not depend on whether you are in this environment or in some other environment. But if it is by way of this another influence, then when you go outside this environment, in a different environment where everybody is saying that you know you must have physical facility to get respect and things like that, you will again start feeling you know deprived. So therefore, you know, every time, every time I'm saying that don't assume it to be true. <laughs> Verify it on your own life. So this self-exploration is very essential. It must become an authenticity in your part, you know, to investigate and find out for yourself. If you have found out for yourself, okay, this will not go away. Right? Whether you are inside this room, or outside or anywhere else, not that you will not, you know, get wavered by it, you will also be able to make a, the other people see, you know, that this need is always limited okay? and that they have more than enough or they can have more than enough, <coughs> more than what is required. Our experience is that uh, this sense, you know, once you are able to see that this need of physical facility is limited in quantity, right, it is very difficult to go back. So many of this, you know, experience that we had with many people is that now it becomes very difficult for them to go on buying, purchasing things, right? So every time they ask, is it necessary? And when they ask, is it necessary, right? Most of the time, the conclusion is that it is not necessary. Already there is so much accumulated in the, you know, home, in the house. I remember one of the uh, person, you know, from your Maharashtra, a uh, man called Satish Chaturvedi. He has been a minister of uh, industry for quite some time. Has accumulated a lot of money, lot of kind of wealth, you know, in. Uh, Nagpur. So he had happened to come for one of the workshops with wife, his wife <coughs> through some of my friends who is related to them and so on. But finally he came for the workshop. And two months after you know, going back from the workshop, one day his wife called her daughter. They are in Dubai. And she said, now it has become really difficult for us, you know. So what happened? Said the morning we went for a walk, and this pe these days people go for a walk to the mall. <laughs> so, they went to the mall for the morning walk, okay. and when she was going round, she found something you know, very attractive. So she told her, her husband, "Shall we buy this?" And the husband said, "Buy it if we need." You know. <laughs> so then she realized that she doesn't need it, right? But just out of attraction, she thought she would buy it. So she dropped the idea. But then on the way back, she rang up the daughter and said, this day we will not be able to buy anything. <laughs> because already so much accumulated in the house. So I think it, it you know, will remain if we are, we are able to understand this difference between the self and the body. 
and the need of the self and the need of the body. Right? So, if that clarity is there, I think this prosperity, this feeling of prosperity is not uh, just a, you know, uh, something which you have here within this classroom. Okay. It will continue to be there. But certainly, I would say that if it is just <coughs> another set of preconditioning for you, right? rather than self, you know, exploration and understanding, then it is likely to put under question by others. Okay. So that is about <coughs> question of nationality. Yeah, regarding your question. <coughs> okay, we'll just repeat two questions. Uh, which one? First one, second time. First. Uh, first one, uh, human being, um, uh, has to remain uh, in coexistence with three orders. So I'm um, saying uh, if that uh, that is uh, only when we are with body or we can uh, uh, we will remain in coexistence uh, with uh, three orders even after we get separated from the body. Yeah. So there are two parts. One is the feeling. Right? So this feeling of relationship be, should will be there. Right? when we are associated with the body and when we are not associated with the body. Right? Because this feeling of coexistence right, will be there. Therefore, this coexistence with all these units, right, all these orders, this feeling will be there. But when it comes to fulfillment, right, this fulfillment with the rest three order is possible only through the body. Right? So if I have to do any fulfillment for these three orders, I have to do with the body. So when I have to plant a tree, right, I cannot plant a tree by only way of thinking, right. I will have to do some work at the level of body, right. So this body is required for the fulfillment of my, you know, kind of uh, coexistence of my this relationship with rest of nature. So while the feeling will remain, the fulfillment is through the body. Therefore, I will ensure this fulfillment as long as I am associated with the body. And it is both way. In fact, taking something from the rest of nature is also when the body is there. Right? You don't take anything for, from the rest of nature for the self. It is required for the body and the fulfillment is ensured by the body. Otherwise for self, all that is required is the right understanding and right feeling, which is the activity of consciousness, not material. So you are not making transaction okay, with the physical things, right, if you are not associated with the body. If you are associated with the body, you are taking something physical for the body, for the nurturing of the body, protection of the body. And you are also able to ensure the fulfillment of that feeling of, you know, relationship with the rest of three orders <coughs> through the body. So as long as the body is there, this taking from the rest of three order and giving to rest of three order right, is, you know, there in terms of fulfillment. In terms of feeling, yes it will continue to be there. So I will continue to have this feeling of love, this feeling of compassion, right? Whether I am associated with the body or not associated with the body. When it comes to fulfillment, if it has to be done with the rest, the three orders, the physical world, then I have to do it through the body. Yeah, the second question, I'll come back. Huh? The second question? Uh, the second question uh, I was saying was uh, um, if I attain realization in this body, because uh, the, uh, one of the responsibility of the self is to nurture and protect this body. So uh, if I attain realization in this body, will I be able to uh, protect and nurture this body forever. Yeah, you see, 
if you look at this, you know, the body, it goes by way of this pranic order. Each of this characteristic of growth.